Yo, this your boy Five Works, and again, welcome back. This is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel, and of course, I got my girl White Go here with me today, and we are going to react to another episode of The World According to Jeff Goldblum. We've been having fun with this series so far, and this is season two. We love the first season, so the second season is getting even better, and today's episode is called Magic. So you already know that this is going to be probably a fun and or funny episode to react to or watch with us, all right? Definitely gonna be like whimsical. Oh yeah, for sure, Yeah, for sure, for sure. Before we get into that, make sure you guys are liking these videos for us, all right? We love you guys. We're starting to really pick up again the algorithm. Again, we'll be, we will be doing a giveaway. Once we get to 500 subscribers, all right? And we'll get more into details once we get closer to those numbers, all right? Make sure you guys are tapping the notification bell that way, when we do something just like this, you guys see it first. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this reaction. The world according to Jeff Goldblum, magic. I'm Fireworks. This is White Gold. This is Snoopers Gonna Stoop YouTube channel, and we back. Snoopers Gonna Snoop. Snoopers Gonna Snoop. Snoopers Gonna Snoop. It's not your mystical fairy tales to spectacular stage shows. But there's one big question that to this very day has got me a little bit perplexed. You think he's going to talk to uh, Chris Angel or somebody like that? Maybe. Like Maybe, the big yeah. illusionists? Yeah. I hope so. That'd be dope. Can't be Houdini. <laughs> yeah, can't be. Or could it? <laughs> or could it? He'd be dead by now. Or could it? <laughs> R.I.P. Into the mesmerizing world of magical illusion. 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 <laughs> I hope he really talks to some of the really good ones, though. Yeah. Or like Penn and Teller, even. They were good comedians and magicians. Like, for real. This turned into a bunch of money. If you can uh, take the lighter, light it for me, please. You're going to turn this into money? Okay, you see the look on our faces? This is what magic does, bro. We were, we were, we were baffled. I watched dude's hands the whole time. Is the serotonin going? Like, bro, how did he do that? Yes. One, <laughs> two, three. Show your hands. Okay, I don't know how that happened, y'all. They He talking about his hood wink. They don't... Hey, look, maybe it's the cameras, but the good magicians yeah. never tell their secrets, but that was nuts. That was... That was good. He had he had six different people had nothing to do with Jeff Goldblum, and he had they all had X's on their hands, bro. What the fuck? Seeing a magic trick isn't that being lied to? Yes, deceived. Yes, it is. So, w isn't it strange that people are willing? I guess it is strange. When you look at it from that perspective, that is yeah, kind of strange. It is. You're getting lied to, cheated, like you're but you're willing, you're you wanting. Want it. Yeah, you want to be lied to and deceived. Damn, damn it! We've already been hoodwinked because know. we were into it. Who've promised to give us all a, a little peek behind the mystical curtain? The great Penn and Teller. See, I told you, I know magic. It was big when I was growing up, and so like these are some of the goats. Penn and Teller are like. The goats, bro. Real talk, y'all. There's something in there, Jeff. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. There's a card in there. And that one card, Jeff, no. out of the middle of your grapefruit <gasps> was the ten of clubs. Y'all, they are bad ass. And I'm telling you right now, bro, that was nothing. Yeah, that was, that was nothing. Light work. Like, they've been doing this for, like, 40 years, bro. It was nothing. Dope. I loved it. It tickled me. What the fuck is Magic doing? What is happening? It's so good. <laughs> and it doesn't diminish their enjoyment of it? It doesn't at all. It, it, it increases it, as a matter of fact, because you're not being insulted. Well, I want to put Penn and Teller's theory to the... Like, we're not stupid. We know that, you know, it's an illusion. So right. don't... Yeah, I get it. But we're still being entertained here. Right. You know what I'm it's saying? That's what it is, entertainment. For sure. Yeah. Now, this 
is a little bit of juggling over here for you. Where are you looking now? And then a giant ball needs the center cup. Oh, giant come ball on. Side. Oh, come the on. On the finish. It's a Bruh. Bruh. They just did a five-second kid's birthday. Like, this is why I mean they, they the goats because they did something in maybe three minutes as a kid's birthday party that can make a hour's worth of a kid's birthday party, bruh. Two tricks, two, three tricks. Like insane good. This is not juggling. This is called misdirection. Boy, you look over here, tells he's the final ball under, one more to the side, and of course for the finish, it's the baseball, Jeff. Wow, that was fantastic. Bruh. That was great, that was dope. The goats. Shout out to Penn and Teller. But let's see how fast his eyes is looking. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, we couldn't see none of that shit. She got it. I got a little bit of I it. I've seen a lot of it. But, shoo. Dick, if you think about the mechanics, it's simple. The real magic is happening inside of the brain. Well, science is all... So Very to, scientific. So to be hoodwinked to you followers out there and subscribers, magic is real, but we are the ones, the viewer is the one who's creating the magic. I don't want to give it away. I look at my eyes, look at my eyeballs, and see what I'm thinking. I'm telepathically sending you the message. Man, this nigga really had me looking at his eyes to see if I could read some shit. And they had some old CGI tele teleprompt plop up in his eyeballs and all. Ashe amen. Ashe amen. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I sit at your what in the hell is he doing? Man, I hope this ain't no woo woo la la. Oh, what an entrance. He said, Oh my God, they're witches. Then, yeah. Communicate with otherworldly entities. I'm a tarot reader. I'm a psychic. I'm a medium. I'm an extra large in case you're a. Oh, medium. I see. No, no, no. Bruh, he was an extra large. Because she's a medium. Hey, good joke, Jeff. Good joke. Got me. Real talk be exactly who they came here to be is the single greatest accomplishment of your entire life. Y'all, this is getting, this is getting freaky. What the hell? Aww. You know, your heart just breaks open. Uh, hope that you're doing everything you can for them. And so that's what this is. That's the power. Wow. What a, <laughs> what a session. <laughs> Holy cats, I'll never be the same. Oh. What in the, like, this is in California, right? This is kind of like your your mom's friend? Huh? What's her name? Oh, yeah, Joy. Joy? Because she gave you medicine, right? Yeah. And that, what they had on the table. It's herbal. It's natural. It's all natural stuff. That's what it looked like they had on the table when yeah, we first she started. Just, like, she practices things. That's fire. Yeah. But also very uh, strange. Growing up, um, we see nothing but dark witches. Um, now that I'm older, I know that there are light and dark witches. So. Play because it unlocks subconscious ideas. But in this warehouse, well, he's not trying to make big screen blockbusters, but a little bit of cinematic chicanery. Y'all, uh, I'm a weirdo. Um, I'm like the only dude I know that has a Pinterest and that's all that I look at is home decor on Pinterest and there's tons tons of illusional um, home decor sculptures chairs couches and there's actually things that you can really sit in I think this dude is from TikTok and YouTube and I've seen some of them and he's really good it was old when he showed me Jurassic Park they, they filmed it because they thought it was kind of funny how, how scared I was and I just started grabbing the camera and filming Exact the millennial poster boy for optical wonderment. Keep y'all humble, Dick. Yeah, you're so tiny. I have no idea what you. Yeah, that was a total illusion. It definitely mind crazy. boggled me. Don't know how he did. They have something like that in South Dakota or North Dakota, wherever the Mount Rushmore is. There's okay. like an illusion house. It's it's funny. Not, it's not. They already have a sense of wonderment and imagination, and I kind of want to keep nourishing that in myself. Like He's a good dad. Like, real talk, Jeff Goldblum's probably one of ten people on this planet with just, just, it's gold. He's probably a fun dad. Like, oh my gosh. Like, can you be my dad? Yes. 
It's a rap on magic. All right, you guys, welcome back. That was The World According to Jeff Goldblum, and that episode was about magic. What'd you think? It was so good. I smiled the whole time. I love him, and he's just, he's magic, and to add him into magic is just... Double entendre. I love it. What do you think about Penn and Teller? You think that, I think oh, that yeah, was, they've been. I know them. Okay, I was going to say. I knew that. I've been, I mean. I really, like, grew up really paying attention to, like, I. you know what's crazy? I think that on the Disney Channel growing up, they had a magic special or like a magic, like in between commercial thing. And I remember I used to catch all those things. I remember one time Penn and Teller was on there. One time it got me trying to learn how to do magic. I remember I bought a magic uh, book from the book fair. I think everyone's had, like, if you're a 90s kid, you, you've had something that's magic from McDonald's or like you had or whether you bought it yourself or whatever. Like you had some kind of magic something. And Disney was like early 90s was about, you know, magical and being magic. Yeah. Uh, what's the what's the film they did very early that was redone like three times as of now? But I think it was called Fantasia. Mm hmm. I think is what it was, and that was just mystical, magical, Disney, Mickey Mouse movie that was up to date at the time because Disney was unveiling to what we know as now, you know, the gold characters like Mermaid, Little Mermaid, and that whole camp, Lion King, that whole camp, and a lot of the main shows uh, growing up like that uh, ended up having their own show, like Little Mermaid had her own Disney Channel show, Aladdin, Lion King had their own little Disney show, so... It's dope to see magic still alive, and uh, even they do it. do a lot of magic. I see on uh, what's the show with uh, Simon Cowell? They judge. Oh, like America's Got Talent. Yeah, America's Got yeah. Talent. We see a lot of illusionists and magicians on there too. They have like Vegas magic shows and yeah. stuff still. So yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. Really it did. Cute. It was really nice, you know, cute and fun. Mm -hmm. You all let us know what you thought about the episode about magic down in the comments, all right? Make sure you guys comment and let us know how we doing and what you thought of the reaction in the video, man. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and bounce, all right? We will be back with another episode soon. Just to let you guys know, we'll be doing Hawkeye next week for sure because that shit is Fire, fire. We're still doing Tiger King. And we're still doing Tiger King. Okay, so make sure you guys are subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button for us. Make sure you guys are tapping the notification bell. That way, every time we do something just like this, you guys get it first. All right? So I'm Fireworks. This was White Gold. This is Snoop is going to Snoop YouTube channel. We, we out. out. Snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip, snoopers gonna snip, it's not your bitch.